the Joe Rogan experience. How do you get kickboxing to be big in America? Why can't they figure that out? Um, it doesn't make any I, goddamn sense. I, I, no. I think, I, in my opinion, I think because MMA, I think it's because it's, it's, I think because of the, the college wrestling, I think it's stuck as well. You know, the boxing, America's always had great boxers and always had boxing fights, but I think it may be because of the college wrestling and it because it's more of what you're used to. College wrestling? What do you mean? Well, they wrestle, don't they? Wrestling's popular, you know what I mean, in, in colleges and stuff like that. So I think they've, they've kind of touched that. Or maybe it's a new sport and they've grabbed onto it and it's they've kind of got it as theirs because MMA's really, like, UFC's like got if it. If, if one got over here, though, with their MMA and mixed show, yeah. and then... If you're sat there waiting for MMA to come on, but in between that you see some fucking crazy tie fight with two people going at it in four ounce gloves, having a proper war, that might help if they did something like that. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got like the average Joe who's never seen it before thinking, whoa, what was that? And I've never seen that before. I liked that. So maybe something like that, like some mixed shows with a, like what one do, that's why there's something for everyone on them mm -hmm. shows. Well, Muay Thai and kickboxing hasn't took off in England either. So It hasn't? It? No. It, not really. it's, got, it's got a lot better over years, but it's still it's not, not as mainstream not, as it should be. It's not at the platform that it should be. No. I mean, Yoko, I mean, your fight with Haseem Banu is just crazy, you know what I mean? Or one FC, one championship fights, you know, we're all we're always glued to the, as soon as it's on, we're a strike with our phones and watching it. So it's a shame, really. It's, um, it's a bummer in America. Yeah. You know, Dana White had a really interesting point. He said, we got ruined in the 1980s with uh, PKA karate. Yeah. Like, they used to have PKA karate. And, uh, you know, there was some guys that were really exciting, like Rick Rufus. Yeah. But a lot of it was bullshit. It was, mm -hmm. like, boring. Kicks it, above the waist. Well, that's yeah, what and they weren't that good. They, no. they, they would just throw a couple kicks and then shitty boxing. Wasn't the guy it called happening? Steve Super Kick Wick? He was good. I don't know yeah, who that guy is. Yeah. Bill no, Superfoot it? Wallace. Yeah, Superfoot Wallace, but there was some called that was Super, Super Kick Wick. Well, got, what, don't know if he was what happened in England, though? We got we got some airtime on TV, and I don't know what water we chose the fights. They chose shit fights to put on. Oh, really? So, obviously, no one's going to be interested in watching them. If you're going to like get a spot, you need to you put out there like pre-recorded yeah. shows of the best fights mm. and put them on just to get some interest. Yeah. And then maybe people will just start taking a bit more notice. But we had like a few... like spots on sky sports and they put shit fights on so that's a that, bummer yeah because there's so much great talent exactly out there. like whenever i watch glory I, I mean i stop and think i'm like how is this not enormous like there's so many boxing fights mm. that are kind of boring yeah true and then you watch this and like jesus christ it's so much more exciting exactly and i can't get me around it yeah. And even after that fight in Cambodia, what I had, I had a headache for six days or something after that. And that were only a six round fight. That's why I thought that one that was boring. I didn't like it. I hated it. And two, got a headache for six days. I'm never doing this again. Because you're taking more shots to the head. Yeah, even when he's in your gloves and stuff, it's all like, mm, fuck. Like, he just did, just right. didn't do it for me at all. I, I appreciate boxing. And I do love watching it and stuff, but Muay Thai and kickboxing is, is way better it's, it's more also, exciting the reality is if any elite boxer decided to fight an elite Muay Thai fighter You're with Muay Thai rules they're getting mm -hmm. fucked up mm -hmm, you have a couple seconds to close the distance Mike Tyson style yeah. and put that dude away otherwise you're getting your leg blasted off you're getting off. your leg blasted <laughs> I mean I would like to see I would have loved to see a guy like Mike Tyson in his prime if they if there was a guy like Rico or some yeah. elite level kickboxer who could potentially fuck him up on the way in hmm. you know because well, someone like Rico's got good kicks and good knees for such mm -hmm. a big guy as well it, it'd be fucking no chance I don't think Mike Tyson can always close that distance yeah, though you never know well did you see where the Mike Tyson and John Jones was messing about like play sort of sparring uh -huh. thing, and you could see the right hands going boom and he's, you could see <laughs> where he, and then John Jones yeah. like fucking hell you know whoa right. yeah, <laughs> yeah but and also that's a 50 year old Mike Tyson yeah, yeah true yeah. you know yeah. it's just when he was young like when you remember the Marvis Frazier fight yeah <sighs> Yeah, so that was he like ruined him, and then he was flop. He execution. Up. Yeah, just stepped in and just. I was I was thinking like, what if someone was like an elite kickboxer? Would you be able to hold that guy off? Mm. Like that one, like mm. that the Mike Tyson in his prime when he was storming his way towards the title. Yeah, true. You'd have to clinch. Yeah, you'd have to clinch yeah, and tie and him even. up an elbow and knee. And not yeah. let, not was, let go. It was that quick. Yeah, yeah. you try, gra try and grab that fast. And you try and grab him. That's coming over the top. Yeah, and of but it some guys did manage to make it to the final belt with him. Like mm. there was some guys that managed to survive. Yeah, Tony you know? Tucker. Yeah, yeah Tony Tucker. Smith. Yeah, there's a few guys. There was a few guys. Bone Crusher Smith wobbled him as well. 
yeah. towards the end of that it was a right hand and then he just wobbled dipped his Bonkers legs a little bit Smith was a powerful dude yeah he was yeah, yeah. he was he, he beat Frank Bruno then he used to First person to knock out Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno was up and coming heavyweight then. Yeah. In England. 